All right, welcome into part three of the college series uh, study ball. So we looked at my son, E.J. Warner, two weeks ago. Go back and check it out. We looked at Caleb Williams last week. Go back and check it out. And today we're going to look at Drake May. Okay, so no particular order on why I'm going through it like this. Hear a lot of people talk out there and say, okay, Caleb's one, and then maybe Drake's two or whatever. I'm not worried about that. I may end up getting to that point uh, as we get closer to the draft and ranking my guys. But right now, I'm just trying to break them down and evaluate who they are, okay? So uh, we're going to jump into Drake May. We're going to look at a game that I thought was, uh, you know, from a statistic standpoint, one of his better games against Duke. Double overtime win against Duke. He throws for 340 yards. Uh, only one touchdown in the game, but a lot of yards. Got a number of completions in this game. So I like to be able to see the gamut uh, of a lot of throws uh, and a guy that has a, a good game and puts up some yardage. We saw that last week. The stats uh, were really good for Caleb Williams. When you watch the tape, I don't think you're, you're wowed by how he played in that game. So we can't just go on stats. We got to see a bigger picture. So let's dive into this game uh, of, um, against Duke by Drake May. And let's, uh, let's take a look at who he is as a quarterback. All right. So let's dive into it again remember taking screens out of this and just plain ball okay so they've got a little semi route here 12 yard out route here you see he comes back looking to take this he's got corner off he wants to take this as he gets there i think he feels like the corner squatted on it he couldn't take it you know if he, i think if he throws this out to the boundary you've got this play it's kind of one of those hey got corner off lay it out there with timing but i get why he went off of it. Now, when you get off of that, you don't really have anything. You're too late to get down the field to what's going on here. I like the fact that it's just like, hey, I don't have that. Find your check down. Okay? It doesn't lead to a big play. It doesn't lead to a bunch of yards, but we're looking for positive yards. We're looking for having a plan when number one doesn't work out. Can you get to number two? Can you get to number three? Can you find a check down? Can you create a positive play? Here, nice job just finding a completion and trying to let your guy go one-on-one. -on -one. All right, so they're going to walk up the pressure, the double A gaps here. Uh, what they're really going to run is they're going to run an out, and they like to do this. Just a little choice route right here where this guy's got an in and out, okay? And you're kind of subjected to whether that guy does the right thing or not. The back does a bad job here and misses his block. So now we're hoping that this choice has to win right now. Does it? Chop, 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 chop. Quarterback doesn't have time to wait on the chop. Uh, and here he is with pressure. Now this is something that he does well. He made a lot of plays athletically, right? Not as athletic as a Caleb Williams, but has a nice feel for when things go down, he's getting pulled down. Man, just flip it out to your guy, get the first down there. So I like what he does and kind of his feel for the game, his athleticism, uh, not how fast he runs or how high he jumps or how strong his arm is, but the athleticism to be able to kind of feel and just play ball sometimes when things break down around you, okay? See the big arm on the backside hash. I like this, come out, quick set, hit the back foot, boom, ball's out. Nice throw to the wide side hitch right there. So I like seeing him catch and throw. Not wasting any time back there. It's guys that play in gun. A lot of times on the quick throws, you'll see them drop three steps from the gun. They're late to what's going on on the outside. Really good timing throw to the wide side on that one. Okay? You're going to see a lot of go routes. They throw a lot of go routes. I like it. So it's a kind of a quarters coverage right here. We get press down here. You like your goes against press so your guy can get on top of them. We just got to peak the backside safety. If the backside safety pushes over, he's not a factor. We can let the go go on the outside. Okay, nice job. Look, eyes are to the left, right? He's trying to pull 23, get him turned that way, does exactly that. He knows he's going back to take the big throw down the field. Decent ball right there, just dropping it right on his guy, right? And we're not going to nitpick on this stuff. This is a 45-yard throw down the field. He's giving his guy a chance. Oh, yeah, he had to slow down a little bit. We don't knock guys for that. These are tough throws to make over and over again down the field. You want to put it on your guy where he's got a chance like this to go make a play. I think Drake does a good job of throwing that go route, the one-on-one -on -one go. Okay, so here we go. We're going to run this quick out right here, and then we're going to replace back behind it 
with an out. You're looking corner off. You're looking to take this one out here. But this is what I like to see. I like to see the processing. Number three, go screaming out here to try to take this away. See how he's out underneath it? I like it. Don't like it? Crash it off, scratch it off, and get right back here to number two. Boom. Ball's out. See the process. Stick it. No hesitation. And we get right inside to the next guy. Know where my second guy is. Allow him to get a first down for me. I like seeing that sort of stuff, that quick reaction stuff. When you don't have something, do you make a positive play? Didn't have the semi on the first play. Got back to his check down. Didn't have the quick out right there because a quick buzz. Boom. Right back to the inside. Okay, this ball gets knocked down right here. Uh, again, I don't know how they ask him to read it. We got a one-on-one -on -one over here. Don't like it. I would love to see him go to what I call an influence post right here. Knowing I got press on the back side, this is a good throw right here, a good opportunity. He's going to work back to his end. But again, you're seeing processing. He's starting left, doesn't like it. Now he's coming back, one hitch, trying to throw that in route that gets knocked down here. Not sure that guy's going to win anyways, but you like the process. Doesn't like this over here. Is able to go from there all the way back to the other side on one hitch. That's important to me too. Timing. Nope. Boom. Hitch. Get that in out. So not everything's going to be a completion, right? I'm not just looking at completions every single time. I want to see processing. I want to see what they're thinking, okay? Where they start based on the concept of the play, where they finish up, how quickly they're able to move from one to the next based on the read that they're getting. Okay, this is one thing that I see with Drake May that, that I wanna see him clean up is that he's inaccurate at times on throws that I just think he has to make, is that he's kind of long, it's harder for long guys, long levers, a lot of movement to be accurate, but you're just going to see some plays. So here, looks to me like they're just running a go and then a quick out. And they're going to get cover two, so this corner sitting down uh, here. So you got to hit it in the window. You got to protect your guy in the window, right? Stick it on his body. And you see this ball way back behind him. And again, maybe he's trying to put it on this shoulder here to protect him from the corner. I love that throw process. I love that he's thinking that. But... Look how he almost misses it right here. Not a very good throw right here. I want to see a better throw. Just put it right on his body, right on his backfield shoulder and stop him. But you'll see that a number of times on the tape is that there's just throws that he's got to make that he misses. So that's something I want to clean up. You, you got to have the layups. You got to make the layups at the next level. Okay, so again, I threw this on here. This is a penalty. Obviously, you see their guy come running in late, all kinds of chaos happening. But here's the thing. He's got a guy draped all over him, hanging all over him. Caleb Williams, really good at this, okay? Patrick Mahomes, he makes a living doing crazy things like this. So I just wanted to show this because, again, he's going down. Got a guy right on top of him. Boom. Find a way to make a play. Find a way to be athletic at the quarterback position and make something happen. Of course, the play was called back. His guy's running on the field. It's all kinds of issues, but... I've seen that a number of times too. So just like I've seen him miss some layups that he's got to clean up, got to clean up the technique, got to be more accurate on those throws. Other thing that I liked is that I see you make a lot of athletic plays like that that you might not necessarily expect from the big quarterback that he is. All right, so I really like this. We saw Caleb Williams do this as well. They're going to run a double curl concept here, and then they're going to run a bubble screen. Okay, so... Uh, I like to read this outside in, so reading the flat defender as he works out here. We're working curl to flat, but I love to see him work the pocket. Slide up in the pocket, doesn't panic. Slides up, keeps his eyes down the field, right? Reading this guy. This guy takes away the curl, turn, and kick it out here to your flat. I like the patience in the pocket as he's stepping up to be able to step up Eyes down the field, reset, make the long throw to the sideline. Good decision, good throw. Okay, so here's another one. Buys one, they're shifting, they got a bunch of guys coming in, all kinds of chaos going on. He snaps the ball, okay, and now not a lot happening, but we're just going to go create. Another athletic throw, moving to his left. 
putting it out there, giving his guy a shot right here. So you see the athletic plays. You see why so many guys fall in love with Drake May. He's got the big arm. He's got more athleticism. Right? It reminds a lot of people of Justin Herbert. I see those comparisons because he's big and long, has the big arm. He's athletic enough to make plays. Nice job right there of just creating something out of nothing. All right, so this particular play, he looks left, okay? So he looks left, has a go route here, doesn't like it, tries to come back to the top, and you see not a lot happening here. I'm not really sure what they're trying to do here. Here's that choice route once again. Choice route not doing a great job of winning. What I'd really like to see him do here is if he doesn't like the backside, Okay, get right over to your choice route. I don't know why he's looking down the field here. Get right over to your choice route, get set, and ready to throw. That's another thing that you're going to see sometimes with Drake May is you're going to see him never really get set back here. See him kind of hopping, dancing, feet never get in the ground ready to throw because he's trying to create. I'd love to see him get back. Boom, set your feet. Set your feet right here for whatever the throw is down the field or more importantly, to be ready to take this choice route on the outside. Never get set. They bring pressure, and he's not in a position to really throw it. Nice job throwing this away and being smart and, and not getting a negative play there. But get set, get ready to rip it, especially down as we get down into the red zone, but something that, that you want to see. Okay, so here's another one, same idea. He's looking left to try to get the go route as he goes to throw it. Doesn't like it. Now he's got to create, and that's one of the hardest things you got to realize down here, right, he's basically got kind of all goes right here. So you don't really have anything. If you're looking left, kind of got to throw it, give your guy a shot over to this side because it's tough to come back to something else. Go there. All right, now we stop it, right? There's really not anything happening. Now we just got to go and try to create. Throw on the left-hand side. Really just got to throw this one away. Okay, so this is a bad interception right here. So... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run the corner route here, then the influence uh, coming from there. What's this outside? It's outside guys running an in route here. So you really got a three-man route here, here, and then in. So kind of a progression, one, two, three. Okay, so I don't mind the idea that we're getting over here. The problem is you've got to see this guy turn his hips. Okay, so he's staying over there with the corner route, but he never turned his hips to cover it. So now he's in a position to wheel back and cover this in. So if you don't get what you want on the backside, you really have to come back to this in and not try to throw the one over the top. I know you're in the tight red zone. You're panicking a little bit. Maybe he feels the pressure right there, but really just nothing happening over here to this side based on seeing that backside defender Throwing that ball a little bit higher. You know, that's the other element is that I would love to see this guy go higher here, kind of where he's throwing it. Maybe he feels like he's got this guy down enough. He can throw it over the top of him and that guy flattens it off. But regardless here, not a good decision. Not anywhere close to his guy. Tough concept, not a lot happening for him, but you can't make a bad play worse. A lot of times you'll see some of the mistakes by you know, this class is because they're so talented and they make so many plays that they feel like they got to make every play. So how does that translate to the next level? Do they feel that same thing, right? Jameis Winston, a great example of a guy that was really good in college, but threw a lot of interceptions because he tried to make every play. Same thing translated over to the NFL. He just continually tries to make the play every single down and it's led him to becoming a backup and throwing a lot of interceptions. So you wonder that same thing about these really talented college quarterbacks, okay? So here's a look here where we've got double seams, double seams, and then stops on the outside, okay? So come back, we're gonna read the free safety, okay? The free safety goes this direction. We're gonna come back and see if we can get this seam. See the seam is being jammed right here. I wanna see Drake get right off of that and work right to his stop out here because he doesn't have the seam. So you come out, boom, there it is. There it is. Work right through that, see the carry, get out to your stop. There's your completion right there. He's looking in that direction. 
doesn't make the throw. Now this becomes a throwaway on a play that you kind of have to have, okay? So can't get stuck, okay? See the free safety, I like that. You got back to this side, exactly. Now you gotta see this carry. That guy doesn't carry, take the seam. That guy carries, get right to your stop on the outside, make that throw. Another go throw. Like it, catching him off guard again. It's gonna set up, lay the ball out there. Really good catch right there by his guy. I'd like to see him get this up a little bit sooner. But nice job putting the ball up in the air once again. Give your guy a shot down the field. As I mentioned earlier, he's a good go throw. He's got that big arm, right? He puts good height on it, allowing his guys to go track it. Does a really good job with that. Okay? So this particular play... We're going to run a little return here, a one step, and then over the top, we're going to run a corner. All right, so tough concept here. Really trying to see if it's man-to-man, -man, see what this guy does right here. So they do a nice job of passing it off. Boom, that guy passes off. I don't have the one step, but if I realize that it's man, I'd love to get over the top to the corner route. Okay, so got that right there. There's a throw. Lay it out to the back corner. You got a shot. Right, nobody's really separating. Now, you gotta go and try to create. Good job getting around the edge and really a good decision down here, I like this. Okay, don't make a bad play worse. Don't try to force it in the red zone. Make sure you get points out of it. Does a nice job right there of getting through it, but love to see him kind of see that a little bit sooner, maybe lay the ball up to his corner out and give that guy a chance. But when he didn't see that, they pass it off really, really well, nothing open. Just throw that football away. All right, so here we go. Kind of running this choice route again. Love to see this choice route break inside. I don't know if that's an option for him or not. He ends up breaking outside. He's covered. So Drake's got to kind of work back to this end off of it. Right, no layups. He's right there. But again, I want you to watch his feet. So watch. Just set, 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 set. See how he's kind of sliding already, sliding already, sliding already. Got to get set, ready to throw. Coming back, trying to make that big in throw. So at least it's a good read because this guy breaks outside. He's covered like a blanket. This isn't great because you've got inside leverage, tough throw. But I would like to see him get back, get set, get ready to rip it, especially down here in the red zone when things have to happen. But he gives this guy a shot, high throw back in line, just not able to connect. I really don't know what this was right here. Hitch, hitch, I think they got a hitch right there. And then they run a quarterback draw. So uh, I'm not sure what he sees here. They bring pressure off the edge. Is this, I see pressure, so I'm gonna take off. I wanna see him have answers. I wanna see these guys have answers against pressure. Okay, he's got a number of quick throws right here. Take one of them, right there, right? Take the hitch. Take the hitch, take the hitch. Instead of seeing the pressure and then panicking and trying to run away from it. Now, maybe this was a quarterback draw or some sort, but when you have quick throws, even with the quarterback draw, they bring a free hitter. Don't try to outrun it. Beat it with your throw. Have a hot answer. One of the things that I thought Drake struggled with in this offense, I don't know how much they talked about it. I don't know how much they, they gave him options. But you got to make sure as you get to the next level, you have a pressure plan. You know when they bring pressure what you're going to do with the football. Nice throw right here. Okay, you see he catches them off guard again. And this guy just kind of comes off the ball slow. He recognizes it. Nice throw out there. Boom. Put it on him. Get a completion there at the sticks. See a lot of things where obviously the talent's there. He's got a nice little feel for the game. Just want to see him be a little bit more... Uh, you know, kind of have a better feel on schedule inside the pocket. Get back, get set, knowing what you're looking at, getting ready to rip it, understand where you're going. If number one's not open, getting to number two quickly. Okay, something that we saw Caleb Williams do last week, the little naked RPO. We're going to read the defensive end. He comes down. He's athletic enough to get out here. We've got the flat with the shoot coming out here. And now you're trying to put that guy in a bind. 
Wish he would have taken that to the flat right now, and I understand that guy's coming down, but I'd like to see him just take this and allow his guy to go one-on-one. -on -one. Doesn't take that right there. I understand that guy's matching to him, but now trying to make the big play, trying to force that one down the field. Sometimes, hey, you got that much space, just give it to your guy, even if you get two or three yards, let your playmaker make a play for you. All right, so another one. We're getting off of number one. We're going to run a slant over here. So he thinks he's got that one-on-one. -on -one. They do a nice job of popping this guy out here to take it away. All right, where are you going from there? Okay, oh, don't have it. Okay, where are you going? Well, we're back to this choice route here with the corner. Got to be back and ready and set to throw the choice. Again, watch his feet. See his feet? He's bouncing. His feet are aimed this way. He's not ready to throw it, right? Again, not an easy play, but if he's set right here, maybe has a chance to get this to his guy right here if he's set and ready to go. So I have no problem. Hey, I like the slant. I understand what you're doing. Oh, shoot, I don't have it. Get reset and set your feet. Don't do this, right? He's bouncing. He's buying time. He's not ready. Now he's not able to make the play. Now what's he do? Again, wrapped up and he finds a way. Finds a way to get it to his back. These are the athletic plays that I'm talking about. But you don't want to have to live in these worlds when you've got opportunities to make plays, that'd be a little bit better at getting his body and feet set on time within the schedule of the play. Ah, almost got it here. Not really sure what the concept is. We're going here and here. I wish this guy would go underneath, pull this guy down. Instead, he goes over the top here, and now we've got two bodies in the same area. Right, right there, just stay down. Stay down underneath and give me the throw over the top. It's not to get everybody open, it's to get somebody open. He jumps over the top, now look. Now we got all kinds of bodies here as we're trying to make a throw to that deep guy. And we just miss it off the fingertips right there. But again, would love to see the concept be a little bit better. I like the idea. He's getting this guy to jump down. We're getting them to pass off. This is the throw he wants to make. Concept doesn't help him, but I like. He's hopping back. Set the back foot. There it is. Boom. Set the back foot. Be ready to throw. Just off the fingertips of your guy. All right. Tough one here. Corner. Under. Under. Always like to read the unders first and then work up over the top. This was a play, if you watched my son's video a couple weeks ago, he ran it down in the red zone, able to hit this corner route for the touchdown against man-to-man. -to -man. They get man-to-man -man right here. But for some reason, not sure why the receiver is starting inside and he loses, well, he ends up getting him, but the guy runs back to the outside. I'd love to see him push outside and lean on this guy, get leverage and lean on him to help his quarterback out. But you see as he goes to throw this, right, this guy's able to outrun it. Maybe he's got the throw here right now. Not a lot of stuff happening. Got to create a throw against good coverage. And again, you see the feet here, right? There is pressure. I get it. But the feet aren't set. Trying to throw this off balance and another miss out the back of the end zone. I know. A lot of these guys can make these throws off platform without their feet, but the more you play without your feet, your feet not set, the more you're going to miss no matter how talented you are. Ah, here we go. This like this one. Play action. Okay, so we talked about it. Looks like here they're going to run double stops. But I like the timing of this one. And there you see. Get back. Get set. He gets set. Gets out. Rips it. Balls away from the defender. Defender actually plays it really well. Boom, he's coming down trying to steal this. Ball is high and away. Good throw, good timing, way to get set. Nice job. Okay, throwing the go route again. Again, puts it in position for his guy. guy kind of goes off the screen here. The defender gets his hands on it. Has to slow him down a little bit, but not a bad throw. He's dropping it on his guy, giving his guy a chance. Again, a couple more yards is probably a big completion. 
but he likes that. He will throw that when he gets the one-on-one, -on -one, does a nice job of finding it. Here we go. Let's go back to back. There it is. Beautiful throw. Okay, we talk about it. 45 yards, 42 to 45 yards is wh where we like to throw it. He's throwing it from the 15 right here. We'll throw it out there. We're going to drop it on his guy right there about the 40, okay? Maybe a couple, uh, a couple yards more. So we're talking about 45 yards-ish right there. Perfect throw, dropping it right on his guy, right in the bucket. Nice throw. So he's had, I think, four go routes in this game, and he's thrown them really well. He's completed... Uh, a couple of them. One was just a little bit short that we just saw, um, but he's complete, I think, three of the four, dropping the ball on his guy, something that he does really, really well. Okay, nice little step through right here off the pressure. Eyes down the field. You see how he quick sets this. Gets the safety to jump here, going up over the top. I like it. Keep the eyes down the field. Nice little slide. Quick reset to get the ball out. And again, just missed. Actually does make that catch right there. Really great play on the move. Athletically, no, my bad. Thought he made it, didn't make it. But really good job by Drake to step up, slide, reset, give you guy a chance on a big play. Okay, so here's another one. Right, bringing pressure, hot situation. Got to have a plan. Got to have a plan for the hot. Hot's going to get him again. Not ready for it. Here's a quick opportunity right here. Maybe it's the go throw on the backside, but you got to understand pressure. You got to have a plan for the pressure. Instead, we're trying to create. And again, just a tough world to live in that creating world when you've got an option. Okay, see the pressure. Understand your quick throw. Get the ball out of your hands. See him play well on the run. He can make a lot of different throws. Okay, so this will fake the bubble screen right here. Stalk and go into the hole right here. Boom. Quick reset. I'd like this to happen just a touch faster. This one's tough though, right? The corner does a great job of stepping in and then falling off. Got to shoot this in the hole if you could see that. Really, really tough. It's exactly what he tries to do. Gives this guy a chance. I'm not sure what happened, what the end result was on this play, but you see it. I like it. Boom. Reset. Attack it. Put, give your guy an opportunity. Ball on his body. Then those two are fighting for it. Looks like because of where we're at, they probably gave it to the offensive side. So I like it. The ability to pump quick reset. Right When he resets and sets his feet, obviously he's been much, much better than when he doesn't have his feet set. Okay, nice little play design right here. Okay, I like how he stays balanced. Even though he's not able to set his feet, he stays balanced, keeps himself open to the throw right here. Not panicking with the pressure coming around him. Finds the guy for the touchdown. Okay, so we got a look here, we're gonna run the inside fade. Flavor of the month, hook, hook, inside fade. As we throw this inside fade, nice, hold it. We wanna put it over the outside shoulder so our receiver can hold this guy off. Really good throw right there, nice adjustment, great catch, but a really good throw right there. Again, quick hitch, set, throw, right? When he gets balanced up, He's really, really good. He's accurate, way more accurate when he gets set up and he sets his feet. Got to make that a habit. Can't get used to bouncing back here and not being ready in the pocket. When he's been confident in what he's seeing and where he wants to go with the football, it's a quick set. Get the ball up and out. And he's been pretty good on those throws down the field. All right. Coming back here. Boom. Boom gonna run the big in here all right back is late getting out I know we run a corner stop back here to this side but he's trying to hit the big in right here boom let it go let it go now again I don't know if uh, his guy is going to beat the defender or not but he gets everything he wants right here hitch it let it go let your guy go make a play for you trust it anticipate 
back. You get the carry. That's what we're looking for. We get the carry. Be ready to replace this right here. Playing on time. Okay, now it becomes another creating opportunity. Not able to make a play again. Coming back, similar type play to what they just ran. This guy down the middle, the big in, and the back getting here to the check down. Come back, look at your big in if you come to this side, just like you did on the last play. Last play, you got the clear out, let it go. This play, they get depth, they drop off, okay? Safety drops right in the spot, you don't have it. You don't have it here. Dump it right here. Play football, play football, go to your progressions, give it to your playmaker, don't feel like you've got to create a special play every time. Just give it to your guy. Okay, he ends up getting there late and they get out of bounds, but give it to him right now and we've got a much better opportunity to get a big play here if you get him the football, plus you're playing on schedule. Want to see these guys play on schedule. Such a huge part of playing at the next level is you can't buy and create every snap. Play the game. They drop, boom. Take it underneath. I say that because here's exactly what he does. Okay, they're gonna come back with a similar type play, clear, clear, big in, and a shallow, okay? They all drop to the big in, just like on the last play. Drop it underneath, drop it underneath, nice job. Let your playmaker go make a play for you. I like it. Read it, process, they're dropping back. Now we replace, right? Here's our high-low. What's that high-low defender doing? He's dropping deep. Replace with the one underneath. Make a play. All right, the feel. Talked about his feel, his athleticism at times when things are breaking down. Here, they're dropping this guy down late and buzzing this guy out. He just feels it. He feels that there's a window here that nobody's taken. I like this. Come back, boom, see it, get it out. Get it to your playmaker. Recognize what they're doing, make a play. I want all your quarterbacks to have that sort of feel to the game. Okay, and I talked a little bit earlier about missing some easy ones, okay? So here, in, back out on the pivot. And again, not a horrible throw. It's not a horrible throw. Guy gets both hands on it as he's extending, but we gotta make this play. Gotta make this play. We gotta hit these throws. First play of the game, he's got a bubble screen. He misses it way back behind the guy. We've seen a couple throws where it's out in front of him. Not as bad this game as I've seen some other games, but we gotta be able to make that throw. Third down five-yard line, that's a touchdown throw. We got to make this easier on our guy than we do. Okay, so again, not, not really sure what we're doing here. Um, so he fakes the bubble screen right there. I don't know if it's quarterback draw or whatever. Um, you got a guy coming here, you fake the bubble screen, you take it here. We got two on three. Over there, maybe fake the bubble screen and try to get it to this guy, or maybe this is a quarterback draw. But again, great feel. Trying to find something, doesn't have it, sees a guy there, boom. Eyes down the field, make another play. This turns into a game winner for the Tar Heels. All right, so there's another tape of one of these top quarterbacks, okay? Another good game, 340 yards, passing, one touchdown, he had the one interception in this game. Uh, made some plays. Um, you know, wasn't great in other spots, missed some plays in some other spots. Once again, offense didn't necessarily help him. You didn't see a bunch of guys running free, a bunch of easy reads uh, for him to go one, two, three, work through his progressions and all of that. So how does it translate? These are the things that I'm talking about. We saw it a little bit last week, Caleb Williams, seeing it with Drake May is that you want to see a distinct progression in the play so I know what my quarterback is looking at, what he's reading, how he's getting from one to two, and it's not just one. It's not just one and then create because that's not the NFL world or it won't be for most of these quarterbacks, even though we've got some really athletic quarterbacks. I want to see them process, make reads, make plays, show me the mental side of things, the hot situations. Drake struggled with that in this game a couple times, even though he made some great plays off schedule, hard to live in the off schedule world. And so these are the things that we have to take and apply and try to figure out where these guys are going to be at the next level. What can they do? 
I've said this a million times. There's guys that we don't get to see all of their talents because of the situation around them, maybe even the offense around them, not asking them to utilize everything. Uh, you know, when you get one guy running a route and see to throw it to him or create, that's not showing us whether you have the ability to go one, two, three, read the coverage, decipher things, and move on. But we've got to try to evaluate off of that. So uh, you go back and watch my son. They had a lot more options, and you saw him boom, 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 boom ball out of his hands, having a plan, having a progression to go to. We haven't seen that the last couple weeks uh, with two high-level quarterbacks that are going to be drafted very, very high. So it leaves a lot of wondering on who they are and what they can be. I'm always going to say this. I only get to go off the tape. I don't get to sit down with these guys and ask them, go through this. What are you thinking? What's your progression? What are you reading? What did you see here? I don't get that. So I can only go off of the tape and that's what makes it really, really hard to evaluate these guys is when you're seeing things like this and you don't really know or they don't really have options to move on. And so now you wonder, can or can they not do that because they're going to have to do it at the next level.